G'day guys, it's BZ here back in the Neon Doom Room for yet another episode of Toy Doom Tuesday. Welcome to another episode of Toy Doom Tuesday. Nice. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to talk about something you guys seem to like more than my other videos because I've been checking my statistics. Um, we're getting a lot more people jumping in on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So today, we're going to do something a little bit different, not too different. We're not going to talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Mutant Mayhem. We're going to talk about some old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle original vintage toys of two of my probably the most iconic characters and my probably favourite characters out of the original cartoon of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and also for the arcade game which was released in my era, had four players and you got all of those main characters, turtle characters and you had all the baddies and Krang and everything else and which was good. But these two characters in here, in this box, which I'm not going to dox myself, in this box uh, I've had for ages but I haven't really got the space to pull them out so let's have a look at them. Ooh, wonder what's in here. All right, let's look at the first one. And my, okay, let's look at, not my favorite, let's look at the other one. We have an original vintage Rocksteady. Let's take him out of the packet. I got these ages ago. And um, just because I really, really love these vintage toys. Sorry, you'll see at the top of my head, I'll try not to, um, Oh, he's, still, he's got his belt, that's a good thing. He doesn't really have any, he doesn't have any guns, any of the sewer lid shields. Look at that. How cool is that guy? I wonder if we'll get enough of a view on here. I'll try and take some photos to show you what he looks like. I do plan on, um, he doesn't look like he stands very well. Oh, I guess he can make his feet stand. But these guys are awesome. I love the original. Oh, his belt's come off as well. Interesting. Okay, the belt's staying on. Okay, cool. So he can move his legs out a little bit to actually uh, make him stand up. So I've just stretched his legs out. Yeah, but there's Rocksteady. Very cool character. I'll take some uh, footage of him so you can have a look. I think he's awesome. OG, original, vintage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from the 80s, Rocksteady. Love these guys, love. I've got a couple of random ones up there as well, which I think I might have talked about before, I'm not too sure, but this guy's got his little belt thing with his uh, turtle sh leg shield pieces on it, whatever you want to call them. Normally he would come with some big gun, uh, a knife I think as well maybe, and a sewer shield. I'd have to double check that to see what it would have originally come with. But I love, love, love these original vintage characters. They bring me back to the day. Let's have a look at the next one. Who ya the Bebop. Have a beep. By the way, guys, my voice is improving. It's been a long, hard week. I have been very sick, so I do apologize. Uh, but here we are. We've got a Bebop. Let's have a look at Bebop. Oh, he is my favorite. Bebop is my favorite. He doesn't have a belt because he's got his chains around the outside. He's got a little tail. Cool skull around his neck. He's awesome, like 3D sunglasses or whatever he had on back in the day. His punk hairdo. His pauldrons, is that what they're called? Pauldrons with shoulder pads made of turtle shells. And I think he also came with a Bowie knife kind of knife and a, um, a, a gun, some kind of gun or a big gun and a sewer shield. I'll double check again to make sure what he came with back in the day. But these are original. One of these legs will have, oh, sorry, on the back of his back. 1983. Sorry, 1988, beg your pardon. 83 wouldn't make sense. What's on the back of Rocksteady? Mariah Studios, Playmates Toys, what's the dates? 1988. They're both from 1988. But good old Rocksteady, gosh, I love him. I loved him as a character. They were both, like, he was more mean and he was more dumb. Like, brute force, but dumb. Uh, sorry, Krang. Uh. Great. I like the de little details on them, like the colours. Sunnies. We'll have a look at him as well. 
But then, guys, I just wanted to show you these two because they've been in the box for so long, I really would like to put them out once I clear some of these DVDs out of the way, get my glass cabinet set up properly. It's already up, but it just needs to be emptied of stuff. And, you know, I've got a, one of these standy, multiple tier kind of like uh, herb and spice stands that go up like steps. Um, get them set up with some Star Wars figures and also some of these guys. But I just wanted to show you these uh, two figurines, original vintage from back in the day. Very, very nice figurines. Uh, I love everything about them. I love the plastic even. I know that sounds weird, but the plastic's great. Yeah, they do have seam lines in places. These are actually in quite good condition. There's a little bit of play wear on the legs, on the Bebop, his arms and his shoulders. It seems like everywhere else is pretty good. His shoes are pretty good. Uh, Rocksteady is pretty good. He's got a few little bits and bobs of play wear here and there in tiny spots. In the back of his uh, singlet. But they're in excellent condition. So I just wanted to show you guys these two. They're really awesome figures. I'm really glad to have them. I would like to display them. In fact, uh, these are the kind of toys I probably should hunt more for. And if you'd like to see more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle content on this channel, please put a comment down. Because it seems like when I look at my statistics, it seems that I'm getting like hundreds of views, albeit shorter views, on my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff uh, and my Funko Pops. People love Funko Pops and they seem to love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, especially Mutant Mayhem. Um, and I'm getting less views on other things, which is weird, like Star Wars. So maybe I'm just not in the right market, maybe I haven't pushed it in the right way, I don't really know. But we go, we've got to go with what people like. So we're going to have a look at a bit more in the way of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff as we go. Alright, so let me know what you think. Don't forget, guys, to like and to subscribe. There is a bell up here. It's really down here. So don't press that one. That one will pause the video. You press it, boop. And then unpress it, boop. And then suddenly you'll be back in the video again. So don't press that. Press that. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Make sure to share this video. Share this whole video. Any video of mine, share it with people that you know might like it. Uh, if you've got friends that like this kind of content, movies and toys and games in the future as well, um, go ahead and share that with your friends. Uh, a share would help me immensely, I'm very grateful. Uh, we're still trying to get to 100 subs, keep going 95, 94, 95, 94. So if we can get uh, six more subs, I'll be at 100. That will be my personal milestone currently. Thank you so much guys, have a great one, love you loads, glad I'm feeling much better. But have a good one and I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks guys, have a good one. Things are coming as well, things are coming. There's more things coming. Take care, love you all, later. That'll be my personal milestone, milestone, milestone. That's my personal milestone. Wallstone.